Of the more than 3,000 islands that make up Japan, Naoshima is a little different. This is an island where creativity reigns supreme. From crazy houses with kitsch credibility to modern museums with million dollar monets. Naoshima is Japan's island of art. The man behind all of this is Soichiro Fukutake. This heir to a publishing and education conglomerate has made Naoshima and art his passion. He's set up museums and art installations to show off the multi-million dollar collection he's amassed. Part of Mr. Fukutake's philosophy is to create something quite different. An island where the maelstrom of modern Japan can be left behind and where art and nature combine. Like many small islands in Japan's inland sea, Naoshima has an industrial past. This metals recycling factory has been the largest traditional employer. But now there's a different way of looking at Naoshima. And the visitors are coming in droves. It's meant something of a change for the island's 3,000 residents. Akinori Takahashi is part of an army of Naoshimans who've taken on new roles as art experts. The former homes of fishermen and factory workers are becoming art sites of their own. But some locals admit they can't work out what it's all about. <laughs> Others have embraced the artistic trend. Akiko Sakaitani has opened up her house as a gallery of local history. <laughs> Not everyone may understand. But linking art and the community has been part of the goal. Japan 
歩むと思いますしその公式を持って過疎の進んでいるお年寄りの多い地域を日本で最も笑顔があふれる豊かな地域に作りたいと思っています。In other parts of Japan, populations are shrinking as small towns lose residents and turn grey. But now Shima has a chance to buck that trend.